So I took the liberty of just uh, hooking everything up together just to make sure I had the circuit working uh, before I started trying to solder for the first time in my life. Uh, but basically, uh, this is a 12 volt, 12 volt motor. Um, so to get 12 volts, you need eight batteries. I went with D batteries since those have the, the longer capacity. So I've got eight total. Um, each one of those is 1.5 volts times eight. Uh, should be about 12 volts. Um, so that'll give you enough power to power the motor. And then I, I have an external switch I'm going to put on the outside of my my box that I'm going to put all this in. And then I've got this uh, potentiometer, uh, which is basically a dial. I think it dials up and down the voltage, uh, maybe the amperage, I'm not sure. Um, basically, normally when you have a little air pump like this for air mattresses, uh, you turn it on and it's just max power 100% of the time. Um, so for for this purpose, I don't want that. Um, you know, this is gonna be a air respirator device for my 10 month old, so I don't want it cramming air down his face, down his throat. Um, so I want the ability to turn that down just so it's just enough to give them a little bit of airflow to help them breathe through that, uh, that filter. And also it'll keep it quieter and you'll use less power. Um, so yeah, let's see how it works. So I have this thing, this switch turned on and each one of these has a little switch on them for some reason. So those are all turned on, but this, this is kind of my master switch. Um, so I turn that on, you can hear the pump going. And then I dial this thing up and down. So that's that's all it's doing. So it's pretty pretty cool, pretty simple. Um, let's see. So the wiring, uh, you got to daisy chain these all in together in series. That way you add up the voltages, like I was saying, to get to get 12 volts. Um, and then for this potentiometer. We've got the negative terminal for the batteries on the far right and then going from right to left got negative battery positive battery and then your positive cable or wire uh, for your air motor um, and then your ground or negative wire for your air motor so that's positive battery or sorry negative battery positive battery positive motor negative motor um, and then of course I have this the switch just kind of looped into the positive side of the battery to be my master switch. So that's uh, that's everything for that. Now let's uh, let's try to solder it together. Okay, this little little switch on this box broke. So I'm just gonna try and bridge the gap with some solder to just basically hard hardwire this guy together.
here's my theory. My worry is that if we filter the air before it even goes in, if we pre-filter it here, so the air, air comes in here and goes out this direction, if we filter it and then run it through the pump, this thing isn't sealed very well. You know, this is just a $12 Amazon special. Um, so we could get contamination after we filtered it, if we filtered it at the beginning. Um, so I'm gonna mount this so that it sucks in air from the outside. And then either just kind of jerry-rig some kind of a, just make some kind of a connection to this end of a filter or just pressurize the entire box, have a hole drilled on this side so the threads will go through and the gas mask can attach on this outside. And that way the, that way the air pump will suck in air from the outside. It'll pressurize this box because it's got a it's got a seal in here. It'll pressurize the inside of this box and then it'll force air into the open end of the uh, of the air filter and that way all the air going through is is going to stay is going to stay clean. So that's that's my plan. Give this a test, and then I think I'm gonna try and support this a little bit better. Yep, got airflow. So here's the final product. Got the uh, air pump intake on one side. Got the filter sticking out on the other side. Let me open it up. Let's fire it up a little bit. Here it working there. Let's take a quick peek underneath. See we've got the the blower and the filter there. It's kind of loose, the filter is just loosely in place right now. I'll hook it up here in a second. And there is enough room if you want to get one of those bigger CBRN filters in there as well. So actually. The idea here is just thread it together like normal. I did I did measure these. This this is pretty much exactly half an inch deep, and this sticks out just a tad over half an inch. So my my biggest worry is that it's uh, you know with the thickness of this wall in the way that you're not gonna engage this seal properly. So then if you're not if that's not engaged, then um, you, know, you might have air leaking in right here, which would be a problem. So that's that's kind of my biggest worry with this. And maybe if I got a second seal to put in there, that, that might help. I don't know, but it does seem to clamp up pretty good. And when you fire it up, get it going, you have to close the box. If you don't have the box closed, then 
you know, you won't have a sealed chamber in here. So I have to remember to make sure you close the box. Kind of hard, probably hard for you to hear, but you can hear air getting through. Let me put it up to the mic, maybe it'll catch it. So anyway, but that's pretty much it. Seems to work pretty well. Um, obviously it's not as good as the real thing, but it's fun with the project. And I don't know, it might work.